So my advice would be to uh, be supportive of each other and to be encouraging and to help each other feel more positively and um, more confidently about our abilities and our prospects as women. I started my career more or less um, as an accident, uh, like many things happen in life accidentally. I was studying economics and I was uh, doing philosophy as a hobby, but uh, then I decided that I really wanted to study philosophy more. Of course at the time it didn't seem like a decision to start a career, but uh, yes, this is what I do now, I'm a professional philosopher. Well, yes, when I was about 20 years old, I went to dinner with a friend of mine and her parents. Um, and I had never met the parents before and I never saw them uh, after. He said, um, pointing to a, a picture on the wall, uh, which was showing a wonderful, uh, very luxurious uh, house. If you really want this house, you can actually get it. But it was in fact what he said next that has been so influential. So he said, um, well, uh, but uh, there's a problem there, there's a catch, that um, if you focus on something um, so exclusively in your life, you will get it, but uh, you will miss out on all the other things that uh, you cannot foresee and you could not possibly know that life can bring to you. So I think he was right. Um, and, you know, we cannot possibly know um, what there is in the future, so reality is much richer than what we think it is. The biggest career challenge for me is uh, discrimination, and especially in the form of unconscious bias. And it's one of these things that you feel, you feel as um, in the form of suspicion, or you feel it because um, you are undermined, um, or people don't seem to treat you as someone who is really credible. Ultimately, what it does is to make you doubt yourself. And I think this is what is the main problem, um, you know, with many women and me, you know, in that particular case. Of course, the situation is better than what it was when I um, started doing research. Um, because at the time I was the only uh, female student, I was the youngest student, I was the only non-British student in my class. Um, and things have changed now, but not, to, um, not so much as for women, um, non-British, young people, not to experience this kind of um, discrimination. Philosophers are not supposed to laugh. Um, we are supposed to uh, be very composed. Um, but nevertheless, I do laugh, and I uh, laugh especially, um, I find amusing situations that um, are borderline between the ridiculous and the sublime. One of my favorite situations is when uh, you really prepare very carefully about, say, for a meeting and you have all your ideas sorted, even your outfit sorted, and then you just get um, an espresso, which is exactly what you need before the meeting, but you spill it all over your clothes, and they um, make life a bit lighter and take away all the um, pretense and seriousness and rigidness. <laughs> I cry mostly um, when I am afraid or when I feel um, insecure and I think it's um, not really sadness but rather insecurity and fear that makes, us, makes me cry. My best supporters have been people that 
in some sense or other, were better than me. Uh, there were people that I had a lot to learn from and they were really happy with themselves and therefore were ready to share uh, their happiness or their success or their knowledge. My ambition is mostly about what kind of person I want to be. And so uh, I would like to improve myself to become a, a better person, a more creative person. And of course, um, this has a lot to do with my upbringing um, in Athens at a time when to be a good and creative person was what um, education was supposed to, to do. And this was considered a value much more important than being successful or wealthy. Women often feel that they don't belong, so they are more isolated than uh, their um, men counterparts. There are not many women in my field, um, but I support them primarily by listening and participating in what they do showing interest in what they do. I also invite them to contribute to what I do um, and I really hope that they find it interesting. Obviously because they're worth it. Often activities or fields of research that um, women are uh, involved in are not part of the norm and the norms or the stereotypes are such that seem to be, of what it is to be successful, seem to be more fitting to men. So by celebrating women, in fact, we are recognizing excellence in uh, fields that are, that fall outside, uh, you know, those norms.